Hey guys, good evening. Rico here. Um, I just got back from Star Sucks and I got one of their new uh, Bank Day Mango Dragon Fruit Lemonade Refresher. Next thing you know, I'm going to be eating uh, nothing but veggies and dining with vegans. But I don't think that's happening today. I am hungry, and I decided I need something simple for dinner. And I really don't have a whole lot to cook tonight, so what I... Duh. I still have the leftover bird. So I thought, why not make turkey alfredo? Simple, easy, and I like it. So let's get started on that. So we're just going to tear into this. I don't care if it looks real pretty. And we can just throw this away. Sorry that the angles are funny here. My kitchen isn't really set up for videotaping because the counter is real long. It's narrow and there's a wall right here. So I gotta figure out um, if I'd hook a light up here, maybe I can cook on that side and that I'll, I'll I'll work on that. So we're just slicing this turkey up. You can use your fingers like that. Just get it into pieces. It doesn't even look pretty. You could really smell the smoke from this turkey that was uh, cooked in the barrel house cooker. I'm hoping I can find that footage so I can get that uh, video posted tomorrow, maybe. All right, we probably got three, four cups of chicken. I'm just going to make a small bag, so I'm going to I'm going to use two cups of chicken in it. Let me get the noodles going, and we will uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to use some of this garlic infused olive oil just to brown this turkey and heat it up a little bit before putting it in with the uh, sauce. So while the turkey's brown enough and a little parsley get all that going, I'm going to put our fettuccine noodles into the water. But first we'll throw a little bit of olive oil in there. Okay, usually I would just use regular olive oil. I wouldn't get my expensive infused stuff, but it happens to be in my hand. That's just going to keep the noodles from sticking together. We're going to go ahead and put these in. Yeah, I like to get these little crunchies off the pan. I just think they taste good, and I like the, the contrast and the color they add to the dish. It's just me. Do what you want. Mm. That's good. All right, that's done. Turn that off. Okay, well, this is all going. I have... I don't know. Some of you might say it's clickbait. I don't know. But the uh, the star of this dish is the smoked turkey, not the Alfredo sauce. So I actually, tonight, for ease, and I'm hungry, I'm using, I'm using the Bertatelli garlic Alfredo. Okay. Uh, it tastes good. It's easy. I will later in the week, because I still have some turkey left over, or maybe I'll do some chicken or something. I will do a homemade Alfredo sauce for you guys. It's just as easy, but you come home from work, you have the leftover turkey. You don't even have to grill it and, 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 and uh, stir fry it like I did. You can just put it right into the sauce. You can do some noodles, you heat up this, 
you got a meal in under five minutes. Well, let's say under ten. Be careful if you do this because uh, you can burn your fingers. Mother, may I? That's all right. I'm going to let it go probably two, three minutes more. And then we'll plate it all up and show you what it looks like. So our pasta's done. Put a little bit of this uh, Bertelli pasta Alfredo sauce. And you kind of could just mix this up, I guess. That's all. Okay, so we got some noodles, some chicken. That's good guys. Um, easy. Easy dinner to put together. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this. Watch a little bit of television before uh, bed. I'm going to call it a night guys. This is the tie-dye cowboy. Wishing you well. Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking. Saludes, my friends.